Fidel, a former U.N. spokesman with us right now. Rick, what did you make of that response? He's essentially saying, if I had rushed back, uh, I would be dancing to their fiddle. What do you make of that? Look, I thought the most poignant uh, question and answer was when the AP reporter said, look, we just had a Brussels attack. And the question to the President Obama was, did anything change for you? And President Obama couldn't come up with a single thing that has changed. He basically said, we're going to continue bombing and we're not going to do anything that shifts our judgment. I mean, Neil, look, he keeps quoting the fact that we have 60 plus nations in this coalition. We've been bombing for over a year and we're still not getting the targets right. He does go on to complain, President Obama said, we can't find all the targets. Well, it's no wonder we can't find the targets. He's unwilling to send intelligence officers, which are called boots on the ground, into Syria to find the targets. That's why we're not hitting the targets in over a year with 65 countries trying to bomb. And so I think it's really poignant when he doesn't change his strategy, when he says, no, nothing is, is different. I still have ISIS as a priority. But then we, we see yesterday in Cuba him sitting at a baseball game. Imagine for a second if he told Castro, we're going to change our plans. We're going to have a press conference, and I need you to condemn the Brussels bombing. That would have been a great deliverable. We would have been here saying, wow, look, he got the Castro brother to condemn terrorism. He didn't do that. He continued with the baseball game and went on ESPN and just yucked it up with Derek Jeter. This doesn't look like a serious ISIS uh, commander in chief trying and to, to that defeat point, ISIS. Rick, about intelligence and what might have happened or not happened. Turkey is now indicating that one of the Brussels attackers was actually caught in Turkey back in June and then deported to Belgium. Um, so obviously, as you get through the weeds here, you see more worrisome developments. But that's a failure of intelligence on many levels, which it, it, I think is what at least one of those reporters was trying to get at. Yeah, I think it's a little bit more than just a failure of intelligence as well, because if, if the Turks, which are a member of NATO, actually told Bel the Belgians that there was this individual that we're sending back, it's, it's really more than just a failure of intelligence. It's actually a failure of following up. It's actually not taking the intelligence and taking action. So I, I think it's a huge problem for Europe. And, you know, today is the three-month anniversary or three months out from the Brits going to the polls to figure out if they're going to pull out of the EU. I think this is a, a huge signal that the British are not having faith in the European system to keep Britons protected. I, I think they've got big problems in Europe. Yeah, the union itself has big problems. Thank you very much, my friend Rick Grinnell.